smart railway i think this word smart has always baffled me in fact um, more than being an expert i have come here today to listen to professor vyas because i think i have been seeing him in railway forums for the past two decades and uh, he has been a passionate um, i mean i can say he is more than a railway man and his concern for railways transforming themselves through the sensor based devices iot systems is something which is unparalleled so more than anything else i have actually come here to listen to professor vyas but uh, let me also tell you that um, this word smart um, is something which uh, probably has been there right through humanity maybe two, three or four decades back you must have heard about the smart railway it all depends upon the technology of the day and with respect to that technology how smart you are i am sure two decades later and three decades later to there will be a conference on smart railways and uh, there can't be if you are talking about smart and based on sensor based devices acquiring the data then processing the data and coming with some thresholds and again feeding back into the physical systems in terms of interaction and uh, and taking con- uh, corrective action um these sensors have been abound in nature itself your eye itself is one of the greatest sensors i mean it is nothing but a photoelectric device with a band gap of 0.5 electron volts and it fires your neurons and you react railways too has been smart as has been told by mr mathur i mean depending upon the technologies of the day whether it is track circuits where you detect the availability or non availability of uh, a vehicle on the track and then relate and act accordingly or whether it is the starter system they have always been there but i think the question that we need to ask is are we smart to the extent of the evolution of the technology of the day i think that is a more relevant question that we need to ask in terms of the scale and the speed at which railway has responded to the technologies that developed around if you ask me my exposure to the smart world has been uh, in the last 2 to 3 decades i have graduated from iit madras in uh, 1990 when even sending a communication from one computer to another computer was considered as some sort of a great achievement so here 33 years later we are here where it's almost like common place technologies of ai ml and iot these have become almost like your something similar to your calculator i had an interaction with around 170 of my new software engineers who joined chris around uh, and last week and let me tell you all these people have been recruited through the gate and they have in their btechs or even mtechs have actually done courses in ai ml cyber security and done enough amount of projects that uh, we have this is now common place technology so the question that we need to ask is has railway evolved itself to the extent that is required i mean um, if you look at the world around you we should be clear as to what technologies have matured across the world in terms of these sensor based technologies in terms of helping you to improve your operational efficiency in terms of improving your uh, reliability of your assets whether it is fixed infrastructure or rolling infrastructure and even in terms of whether they are going towards enhancing your business development goal as a whole as of now in the railway i think these systems of sensor based technologies have evolved in a very scattered manner as has been pointed out and uh, let me tell you that there is a very sincere effort which is now being undertaken across the various departments to identify as to what these technologies are and the workload that would be generated on the various applications in terms of both the network capacity requirement the compute and the storage requirements and also on a common iot platform in terms of the protocols where we are in contact with c dot to adopt their common platform cssp for this iot framework and i am sure that um, in the coming days maximum of maybe around 60 days we should be able to come to a common framework and uh, we are looking forward to this exercise and already a number of projects are going on in an isolated manner let me tell you rfid project for tagging to the wagons has almost been uh, 30% complete within the next one year 
I think uh, 90% of the wagons would be RFID tagged with, uh, with stationary readers. Already we have locomotives with RTIS where uh, uh, we are able to trace and track the locos online, wherein uh, continuous information is getting into the databases, very, uh, and so on and so forth. But uh, the greatest problem what we face is in areas where established research has not been commercialized. So, for example, on the track side, on the fixed infrastructure side, still most of the solutions are at the R&D stage or even at uh, the development stage. And here, um, while we continue to run on both the legs in terms of adopting the mature technologies, we also are giving adequate emphasis on the R&D part to ensure that uh, we continue to evolve as an organization. And I'm sure next time when we hear Mr. Vyas, maybe five years down the line, he would be a much more uh, happier person. So thank you and I wish the conference all the very best. Thank you.